We are in Paxi, Lao. I got dunked in the river yesterday and I was carrying both suitcases. Wait, what? We're Cindy and Eddie and this is Squeeze the Day. It's another travel day and even though it rained, we've got a boat to catch. Not this boat, a bigger boat, which is going to take us off of the island of Dante, back into the mainland of Laos, and onto our next city. Eddie just took a little what? dunk in the water, trying to get off the boat. It's okay. I swam in the river a little bit this morning, unexpectedly. <laughs> it's all good. He got soaked. Yeah. He is soaking wet, head to toe. We are on the boat, about to head out to Paxi. So here we go. Since my phone was in my pocket at the time of the swim, it got a little wet and you can tell by the audio that it's not doing very well. One of the 4,000 islands. We have made it safely to land. That's the boat that's coming in from the same place we were just at. That's how many people are on the island getting ready to go. It's really busy here, which is really awesome to see. And what we're gonna do now is go up these steps and we're going to go to our bus, which we gotta figure out exactly where it is. Being registered for the bus that's gone to Paxi. We are now in the van and what we did is before we actually got in the van we went out and grabbed a couple of little snacks like this and we weren't going to film but one of the things we got was a little mini bun of some sorts but it tastes just like a pork bao bun. It was really good but there's like it's a mini size though. Yeah they're about the same size as these things yeah. so there's like a whole bunch of different buns in there <laughs> they're all really good. We're pretty sure these ones are the banana bread. And they just look like little cake buttons. And one of them came in the shape of a little heart. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's like a vanilla cake. Mm, no filling inside, just... Yeah, no frills nice or thrills. Texture, but it's tasty. a nice little uh, treat. Little so. sweetness to it. How much did they cost? All these together? So we got like $7 each. Oh, that's good. So we got like seven things or eight things, about eight things. Mm. Yeah. We got about eight things and the total price was about 10,000 kip. And they're all about this size. Now for the muffins. They are banana and super soft and Yeah, yummy. I mean, absolutely delicious. It's about a two hour ride to get from where we are at on the island to Paxi. That means the driver of these vans need to take a little bit of a break along the way. And that's where we're at right now. This is a little bit of a bus stop. And I'll show you what that sign looks like right there. But you, they stop here and you can get out, get some food. The toilet costs about 2,000 kip to use. And this is the area where everybody is at getting their snacks. Plus they have a little place to go sit down. They got some really good options, including ice cream. We have made it to Paxi. There was a taxi that was waiting here. We just want to walk through the city just a little bit so we can get a little bit more familiar with it. We are seeing a couple of places where we might want to go and check out for food a little bit later on. And we find a couple of places to do our souvenir shopping, I guess. We have made it to our destination. It's this been is... a couple of crazy hours it that is. we've had here. So we originally booked this through one of our booking sites, which shall remain nameless. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that they didn't have this place as one of their places. If you do come into the area, Mary Hotel 2 is a great hotel, very affordable. We're paying about $7 a night, yep. which is really awesome. But you have to show up and ask for one. Yes. You can't just book it online. Not online. So if, if you're seeing... I guess if you can speak Lao, then you could call up and book through them because they only speak Lao. Yeah. 
anyway, we were able to get a room here. So we did get the room, but we didn't go through our original booking place. No. At this point, we're just super glad to be in a place and yep. looking forward to getting something in our tummies because we haven't eaten all day since breakfast. So we're going to so go get some food for tonight. We're going to go look for something to eat. We were walking around looking for a place to eat and we found this place, which is called the Best Cafe and Restaurant. We're going to step inside and grab something to eat. They had music on, so we were not able to talk while we were in the restaurant, but the food was delicious and the service was amazing. We recommend this restaurant if you're ever in town. Good morning. Good morning. First thing we had to do this morning was drop off some laundry because I got dunked in the river yesterday and I was carrying both suitcases, so you everything. You had them both in your hands trying to get off a boat. I don't know why you had both of them in your hands, but... I was just trying to get off the boat. He went over backwards and yeah. both of the suitcases went underwater some extent everything got wet so we had to wash everything today everything's at the laundromat getting washed i walked into some really delicious smelling food so i had to stop for a second right yeah i can smell this <laughs> it smells this really good here. um yes. so yeah i got distracted but yeah so 15,000 per kilo and it's, it's about eight kilos worth of clothing because it's all soaking wet it is mid-january so the weather's looking amazing right now this is also just so you know one of the driest months of the year this is the time to be here but so, it did rain all day yesterday for us off and on it did and which is weird i think we got the rain for the, the rain month for sure but when we were walking by here these ladies are cooking they definitely have some food going on in there that smells so good and I we were standing right over there when we smelled it. The question is why are we in Paxi? This town is a very popular place to go because it's a key center point for a lot of amazing tourist stuff in the entire region but Paxi itself is known for things like their temples, the art that is here and as a central hub that leads over across the Mekong River. There's a bridge we'll show you that a little bit later on. That is the Champa Sak Palace Hotel. Currently, they're using the parking lot as a place for buses to stop. I don't know if that was the actual palace, but I do know that Paxi used to be the capital of Laos. We found this little restaurant on our walk, heading over towards the bridge that's just down there. This is not the bridge that we want to show you, but it is a bridge that we want to show you that crosses over the Mekong River. The reason we wanted to stop here is because this place has some really affordable food and coffee. That right there, that is a taxi. They'll actually stop and pick people up. They're getting food right there, but you'll see them. Basically, it's two seats. So on the back of the truck, they have a seat on this side and another seat on that side. So there's two bench seats that run along there, and then they just pick people up. One of the good reasons to come here, enjoy the architecture of the buildings, like the classic hotels, temples, and everything else they do around here. Architecture-wise, it's beautiful. And it's right on the Mekong. We're about to show that to you right now. Not the bridge that we want to show you, but a bridge that crosses over the Mekong River. We are standing over the Mekong River, and that is another good reason to come here. Mekong River is pretty historic, and if you look at it right now, you'll see it's not very high. It's actually pretty shallow, but what you can see is they're building up the banks of the river right now because this river gets to be pretty deep. This is the down plaza. Now that we've shown you the outside of it, we're gonna go inside. But just so you know, this pl this plaza shopping center area, whatever, however they call it, but it is a plaza, it is a shopping area. It has been here for quite some time. So expect to see some history while you're walking through. Well, at least that's what I'm expecting as we walk through. Let's take a look. There's a 
a second and a third floor. It doesn't look like the third floor is being used right now, but they have an escalator. It's weird walking on an escalator <laughs> when you expect it to start moving. Yeah. Basically, your typical shopping needs are available here for you. Everything you would want to access is here. Let's talk about pricing right now. This store is showing things at $30,000, $45,000. They've got stuff over here for $20,000. Right now, the Lao Kip is about $17,000 per the one US dollar. So all this is just a little bit over a dollar. They do have a couple of nice shirts like these ones over here, $35, $45, and then a couple other things at $15. But this basically tells you how much everything is. So with 17,000 being $1, this is a lot of really nice things, just over $1. Small purses, 45, large ones, 75. We are going to head back downstairs now, or down escalator now. We smell something cooking out the side entrance, the front entrance, and it looks like they do have some street food vendors out here. So let's go take a look. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. They do have a ramp that goes up to the second floor. We came out of this area and we're going to go over here because there's all these vendors that have food. On the corner is an Amazon cafe. They have Piggy Bay and this little sandwich right here, 14,000. And then this small one is 7,000. Right next door, they have different flavors of homemade ice cream. Sausages, meatballs. And, and this is some toppings. spicy sauces. They have the Seoul cheese dog from Korea, but there's more than just cheese dogs here. If you look at the menu, they have cheese dogs of all kinds of different styles, as well as waffles. And they do have a variety of different styles of waffles. For example, this is a ham and cheese waffle right next to a strawberry jam waffle, corn, banana, raisin, chocolate, dark chocolate to be precise white chocolate and a couple others as well as these is what the cheese dogs look like and these are all side by side each other which makes it very convenient for everyone here our next destination is going to be the friendship mall right here in town we're going to show you around a little bit there's definitely a lot to see here based off of what i can see just looking at it so we're kind of excited about this let's go in and check it out I am hearing music. I don't know if you hear it right now, but we're gonna have to be careful with the voiceovers. We might have to stop talking. That is the mall. When we first walk in here, what we can see is that all the way up there, they have multiple levels. So we're gonna have to go up there. First, we're gonna check out this first floor, including the restaurants that are down here. And there are the restaurants that they have here, Texas Chicken, the Pizza Company, and Dairy Queen. Toy store there, cakes, an eating area, and a play area in the distance that looks like fun for the kiddos. It's not really that full up here, but they do have a lot of things that would be worth looking for if you're in the market for anything like this, including groceries. And apparently there are more escalators here to the third level. On the third floor, they have a movie theater and a gym. Check out what's showing. Avatar and the Woman King. Back out on the street, we got one more thing to show you. We are on our way to the last thing that we really wanted to show you. And the reason we wanted to show you is just because of how historic it is. As we have said earlier, there is a lot of reasons to come and visit Lao, especially the Paxi area. And we really are enjoying our time here. Let's show you this last thing we really wanted to show you, the bridge. Way down there is the bridge that we are getting to.
The Lao Nippon Bridge was one of the first bridges to cross the river in this area. Funded by the Japanese, that's how it got the Nippon name. The reason we wanted to come and show you this bridge is because of how big it is and it spans a large area of the Mekong River. This bridge will take you into an area that has a lot of popular tour sites. For example, if you can see, I don't know if you can, but if you can see, on the side of that mountain is a large golden Buddha. Not the biggest golden Buddha available, but it's a popular one. The Mekong River is really beautiful and really big. Can you imagine how much more water would be in here if it filled up this portion to those areas that show the water line? The other thing is this whole entire area is really beautiful. I mean, look at this building here and that one there. This is a great place to come and visit. We also think that as tourists here, we're really lucky to be able to experience the Lao culture. So thank you very much for that, Lao. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. And stay tuned as we continue to travel around Lao and the rest of the world. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.